to old people's homes. What are those exceptions? Again, their family situation at the time, my kid's family situation at the time. If they have a good time to look after us? No, if their health is bad. Maybe That's the physical inability? No, okay. physical inability for them. Maybe, yeah, God yeah. forbid, cancer. Yeah, yeah. Or something, or their kids have some physical inability. You know that they, I don't know, I don't know you know? But, but other than that, they should take care of me and my wife, you know, at home. Yeah, so but this exception goes... But until goes, when? But, until when? But, this exception, but until when? this exception is not only for children. This exception of inability to look after someone is regardless of who you are. If you have someone in a terminal cancer, you can't look after your father, your mother, your children, your neighbor, you can't look after anyone. Because if you're in a situation like that, terminally ill, that's an exception that it's not just specific to children yeah, or parents. You said, you said yeah, but I'm but saying when it comes exception. to duties and responsibilities of children and so on, yes. throwing your parents away to old people home, in principle, it's wrong. Yeah, so that's what Islam teaches. So you will find, my friend, what's your name? Rob. Rob, I'm Mansur. This is uh, Sarwar. You'll find a lot of the teaching of Islam that you will automatically agree on because that is something that is Islam has already put in in your natural disposition. Okay, these virtues that you know that okay, you know, committing injustice is wrong. No one has to teach you that. No one has to come and teach you that doing injustice is wrong. My parents taught me. I'm saying no one. Good, but they they have reminded you and consolidated you with already what's in bill. Even if no one teaches you, give, let me give you an example. Your three-year-old, you've given them a gift, a toy that they like so much. Okay, they're playing with it. I go and snatch it. What will be the reaction of your kid? Depends which one. I have twins. Okay. <laughs> Generally speaking, they won't like it. They won't like it. They will say, start crying. Oh, look what's happened. Someone's taken my dad. Help me out. Give me back. Because they feel and send something is I'm just happy. Unless, so, unless, again, there's unless exceptions. What? Unless? There's exceptions. So, unless, tell me. Unless, unless you explain to them the reason you're doing it. No, no, without any reason. Snatching no, away. No, but, no, but you said snatching, but why snatching? Not, taking not, away. Yeah, Forced me. Taking away. I know, but you're not a mania. And saying it's mine. But you're not a mania. No, no. If why I did you that? do that? No, no, if I did that, it's, it's, it's mine now. Who How would they feel? As a parent or as a stranger? No, no. Me. An individual. To come to my kids? Yeah. And take it away from me then? And your children, forcefully. how would they, yeah. Forcefully? And, forcefully and, and they think, and they would, how would they react? No, but I can't say it on camera. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not take your kids. Someone else's kid, right? Yes, yes. How do we see in reality they react? They react with, no, you can't take it, it's mine. They sense this injustice. So I'm saying, these little children, they may not have been told what is just and what is unjust, but it's already there inherently in there. So what I'm saying again, is, yeah, I'm just trying to... Them, unless you explain to them, and there's a good reason for why you, why you did it, or why the stranger without did it. Teaching without, them, without teaching them what's just or not just, you can expect this reaction. So this is just demonstrating there are things inbuilt within us already from God. Yeah, whatever you want to say. From God, our Creator, so that at least you know, we can't make an excuse, I didn't know what justice was. Well, I didn't know who God was, what God was, our creator was. Even this belief in the existence of God is already inbuilt. But people try to cover it up. They try to cover it up, saying, no, 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 we didn't, we didn't have, have a creator, we don't have a creator, it's evolution, it's Richard Dawkins, it's this and that. There's always this covering up. Okay? So, I don't think you'll find a lot of disagreements when it comes to this, these existential questions, this reality about Islam. And when you go probe deep and deep, inshallah, you will see that the Quran brings to you this concept of justice as an essential and important aspect of, you know, human uh, belief and interactions, justice. And that's why when we started talking about injustice is happening from any side in Gaza, whether the Muslims doing it or the non-Muslims doing it, injustice is injustice. We have to say wrong is a wrong. The moment you make a wrong right, that's when the problem starts. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. With and that. the moment, so, and an the, hour ago, we agreed. Yeah, on yeah. That. and the moment, we're, and the we're, moment, we're agreeing to agree. We're not agreeing no, no, to disagree. No, that's what I'm. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we are agreeing because agree. we have. We're agreeing to we agree. have. Yes. We, we have built in morals. Yes, we have all these common grounds because this is where the truth lies. This is where the truth is. So how do you differentiate? How do you differentiate the, you know, like 
you, you brought up Gaza again. You, know, so open, you open the door again, like a yes. lawyer, you know, you open the door. Yeah. You know, we talked about kids and everything, but how do you, you know, kind of like put everybody in the same basket as, as Jews now, everybody's doing it against Jews in the world, not only against like Israel, is, Israelis, and Zionists, and, and uh, but everybody against all Jews. You see his attacks, like people are attacking him, like, like the kids. And how do you put everybody in the same basket? Like, like you asked me, how do you put everybody in the same basket? Like, like you yeah. know what I mean? So we, we, we can never generalize okay, good. everyone. So, so, we all agree. so, so what we are right. saying is, look, this is this is how we build up our common ground understanding. Before 200 years ago in Philistine, did we see this kind of problems happening? Or did we see Muslims living with Jews and the Christians in Jerusalem itself in a way that is, in a way that is what? Mutually. No, no, I agree. In harmony. I, I agree with you. I'm not so, disagreeing with you. Yeah, so this happened. So we no, are not you personally. I'm not. Don't generalize. You personally. I'm talking about you yeah, personally. Yeah. So well, I'm, you asked me personal questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so Rob, Rob, what we're saying is, we are not bringing now a solution. No, we, me, me. Fine. I am not putting forward a solution or a suggestion of a solution, which is totally radical. I am saying this solution existed at one point. And there wasn't a problem with this but solution. But now, but now, I'm talking about I, now. I, I, I am, I am, no, no, I am Getting bringing this point. for a reason. Okay. If how it was working then, the people lived, interacting with themselves, Muslims there, Christians there, Jewish people there, no problem. When did the problem happen and why happened, we, really, we know why. Because when the... Again, we, we. Let me just make it me, right? Me. When I realize, I'm speaking to you. I'm not when I realize, to Rob, when I realize, the power balance went from the Muslims to the Israelis. The problem started when the power was at the hands of the Muslims. They ensured the security, the sanctity, the dignity, the value of life for everyone. That's how we know from history. Okay. That's how we know. This is how it worked. The moment the power shifted from the Muslims to the Israelis, to the Jewish people, no, that's where is, again, Israelis, Israelis. Israelis. No, but see, you, no, you no, no, generalize. No. You said no, it. No. It's on camera, like you told me no, no, before. No, no. What I'm saying, it's on camera. No, no. When I say Israelis, <laughs> it's, it's a generalization, right? I'm no, not generalizing. No, again. Israelis. Are you happy? All right. Yeah. When the power shifted, that's when we see all these problems happening. It's clearly an observation. Okay. So, if you want, after solutions, the ultimate solutions, the ultimate solutions is not two state, three state, and all the solutions. So what's the ultimate ultimate solution? solution is how it was. So, if we can go back to how it's supposed to be. And you personally, you personally, me? forget about we, everybody. Yeah, I, I sometimes speak me as oh, a we. I get it. I me get as it. a we. That's I what I'm it. saying. You, it's, still, it's still me. You think it's possible? Yeah. So I'm hopeful. You, so you see hope like me? I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm hopeful. Because this is where I think, I think, justice can be done. Justice. Ultimately, justice has to be implemented. No, no, I agree. Even I agree. if it goes against me and my wishes, I have to speak and be a witness, truthful. Truthful witness. I have to testify to the truth. That's in the Quran. The Quran tells us, be a firm witness, even if it's against you, against your relative, against your kitten, um, kitten kid. Even if it goes against your own self. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yeah, it's recorded in the Hadith literature. Even if Fatima, his daughter, radiallahu anha, if she were to steal, she should face the penalty, the punishment, which is cutting off their hands. She should not be spared. So the ideas of favoritism, nepotism and all these ideas like oh i am the prince and i am the son of the king and so on happens in every muslim country no, no, almost, no, no, know, like, there's no favoritism no, no, they're not implementing islam no i know i, I get that that's we, what I said. we, we, we are showing them. yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying we are we want our muslims brothers and sisters to know if you're in these countries what's happening is not correct it's no, not islamic everywhere then 
Mm -hmm. So what do, what do you, again, you, not we, what do you believe? What I'm saying, forget I... Forget about Israel, forget no, no, about the Middle East. Do you I, believe the I, whole world? I, I am a Muslim. Well, I know, but so I'm about... trying to say what Islam is saying, rather than my... My personal belief needs to be molded according to Islam. No, but the whole if world, I don't the follow the... World, no, but the whole world. The whole world will see justice if they follow Islam. So the whole world? Yeah. The whole so world. There should no, there should no, be no freedom because, for anybody... Because when people come... Look, if Islam is implemented globally, for example, globally. if it's globally, 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 globally. non-Muslims who don't want to become Islam, they will have their rights. And their right will be protected. No one can put a finger on them because that's how severe their punishment will be. To violate the rights of a non-Muslim citizen. That's how it's always been. They are called protected citizens. So Islam ensures a system in which, so which, so which justice can be... Okay, so which Islam do you believe? But hold on, let me finish, let me finish. Not, not Sunni or Shia, I'm, I'm asking, which Islam do you believe? The Islam, Islam of second, the Quran. No, I, I get it. Islam of Prophet Muhammad I, I, Okay, fine. I get it. Islam, Islam they follow now in, let's say, Dubai. It's easy or, to differentiate. Or, or in Saudi or in Qatar. It's easier to differentiate. No, of course it is, that's why I'm asking. Whichever versions being implemented if it goes against the quran and the teaching of the prophet that's not the version to follow you can okay, easily see that so, so, so the book you that's source. it yeah you the, source. So the source you don't follow it. the people you follow the source that makes sense Pleasure right. speaking to you, thank Rob. You. Thank you. Okay, thank we you. we hope to um, speak in to you weeks, again in two weeks, in, in two weeks <laughs> and see yeah, where, thank, where you are. You, you know, sure. because one thing for sure, you. if you ask sincerely for guidance, God will guide you, and you are a sincere person. Try. Try. All the best. Thank you take care.